Well, Jeez. are you going in there? Can't I? Well, uh. Don't tell me you're afraid. When I was a kid, this wild dog chased me around for like an hour. You're such a big guy, you're really a wimp. He used to want to be an Air Force pilot. I can't read that. All I want to hear is a ringtone. All I want to hear is a ringtone. What does that even mean? You're more heartless than I thought, David. Shut up. Is he behind there? Don't mind him. Let's go. <laughs> Your mother's crying down in hell, you know. Can't you hear your mother's pitiful wails? Why did my dear Davy leave me alone? I don't want to be alone. Please don't leave me alone. Davy, oh Davy. <laughs> Calm down. Don't listen to him. David, doesn't it hurt leaving your mother all by herself? A real thoughtful son. He'd go to be by her side right away. Or do you feel relieved? To hell with that weak woman who always clung to you. Let go. I won't let him talk like that. Settle down. Don't open that door. Let go! You stupid brat! You don't listen to a word, do you? Never listens, never learns. Wants to put your old man through a lot of trouble. What's that? I said your father must have had it real hard with you. Jumping into danger alone, following when I tell you to stay. That's not being a brat. I don't know what is. So it's not just your eyes that are busted, but your ears too? Or is it your head to blame, getting riled up over every little thing? Think punching me will calm you down? Then go ahead. Let's go. And I immediately go to the thing he told me not to do. Darn. I was gonna how won't he get up in here? Those dogs going to sleep. Well, I can think of one person who could have done that. Earlier in the game, I guess. Maybe. What? You prefer to see him dying a painful death. Oh, because I stopped him opening the door. Oh, that's a squirrel.
outside and not in the game. Hey there, David. What are you looking up at? Look down below. David! Ah, I finally got you snared. That detective was a bit too perceptive earlier. Killing you would put me at a big advantage. A critical hit to the detective. Oh, this is getting good. Yes? Exactly. This may sting a bit, David, but not for long. Now hurry, Batman. Robin's gonna be a canary. Come on. I don't have the slightest idea where I'm going. Okay. No, not that way. This way. This way. Where was it? This one? Okay, and what if... Fast forward. So earlier I was told I couldn't go in the water. Hmm. Oh, that's what the towel was for. Now I gotcha. All right. Give me that towel. Get the 
mouse out of my screen. using it as a tourniquet. Stand up, David. What are you doing? Hurry. You can do this. Just walk. Once you're out of here, you'll be fine. Hey, come on, walk. <coughs> David! 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 I want an enemy. You've got those all over the place. Ain't the guy who just shot you in the head an enemy? Everyone you ever had to shoot was one, too. They're all fakes. They're all... smiling. I want an enemy. One that if I could kill them, would put an end to all these stupid incidents. Well, there is one of those... in here. Aim a shot in there, and you could kill him. Of course, it'd be a victory for you, but it'd be a loss, too. So you just gotta put up with all these small-minded guys instead. We're almost at the hospital. Hope it's not too crowded. Pretty sure the guy that's been shot in the head gets jumped to the front of the line. not you. It's not you. It's not you. Who are you? Why are you smiling?
Stop it. Excuse me. Barry here. Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Mr. Barry, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife showed his name on them. Todd Barry. Check behind the neck. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Great bedside manner there, Doc. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. What am I looking at? I've been waiting, detective. Oh dear, what a frightening face. A glare like that. Heck, it even gets me shaking. What got you so angry? Ah, David's death, perhaps? Well, there's no need to worry there, because I'm the one who killed him. It wasn't your fault. Yes, those are the magic words. Aren't they the ones you're always telling yourself every time you confront an innocent person's death? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, fine by me, detective. You're always biting off more than you can chew, eh? But now you should be asking yourself. Is it because this guy's a murderer that I want to kill him so bad? Whoa there. I know you want to make this quick, but give me a sec. Indeed, once this game is over, you can leave safe and sound. With your wife, too. Yes, your wife is just fine. Well, maybe a little hurt, you know. If you catch me, this oh-so-fun game will finally end. But that's too boring, isn't it? Now, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you can put up any opposition you like. Nobody to force yourself to protect here. So do as you please. Kill me. Find your wife and go back home. That's a happy ending for you, right?
of yours. It smells rotten. There's a corpse in the box. You're just pretending you don't notice it. Jackass. Helena. Keith? Keith, thank God. I'm so glad you're alive. Keith, you're hurt. Really hurt. Let me see. Are you okay? This is nothing, but you. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just... I was so scared. I thought you might vanish in front of me, too. I'm sorry. Sorry. I couldn't protect you. Peace. Let's continue our conversation. I'm gonna go with D, the bad one. Give me a week. I'll pack my bags. No, I'll leave. You should stay there. You don't want to let go of the house, do you? All the memories there. A week from now, let's do dinner. I want to talk about some last things. A lot of them. Okay. I want that too. No more beer for you? Yeah. I get sleepy if I drink too much. I'll take you home tonight, so you don't have to worry about that. No, it's fine. I need to be capable of going home alone, even if I'm drunk. Hey, do you remember this? One time, after having a lot to drink, you came home with all this food. And when you got home, you started cooking all of a sudden. I just stared in disbelief while you cooked without a word. Then you said, Okay, eat up, good night, and fell asleep. Did that really happen? <laughs> of course! I couldn't eat it all, so I gave it to you in the morning. And you said, oh, Wow, luxurious! Did you make that in advance? You didn't remember it at all. <laughs> Gosh, I laughed so hard! <laughs> <laughs> If you think that's funny, I shouldn't tell you what I got up to as a drunk student. You laughed yourself to death. I haven't seen you laugh in... forever. Really? If you can smile like that, then it don't mean anything else. Not even me being with you? Sorry, I'll stop. 
Don't cry, Helena. I want our last meeting to be a fun one. Right. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Keith, what the hell are you thinking? How can you resign and not tell me about it? I want to talk, please. Call me back, ASAP. I'm waiting. A message from Mr. Anderson? So he called the home phone too. surprised me. Where were you? Couldn't sleep, though I thought I'd have a drink. Sorry I woke you. Though there was a bottle of spirits in here. Where'd that go? Oh, it's in those drawers. Keith? You should stay in this house. Todd is here, and so am I. This house looks like a box full of treasures to me. Treasures more valuable than life itself. I want to protect them at all costs. But I wasn't strong enough. I couldn't protect them. Not Todd, not you. And yet, even knowing my powerlessness, I couldn't let things go. If you're ever born again, I'll pray you never meet me. Alright, well, I'll leave it there. See y'all in the next one.